I am also auditioning for for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. I'll be performing the untitled poem from the film B Girl, written by Emily Daniels. A little bit of that. Hello, I'm Brody. I'm doing an excerpt from Rumors. Follow an explanation. Okay. My name is Paul Mason. Just a little louder. My name is Paul Mason. I wrote this piece, and it's called A Mother's Grief. Just looking at my clipboard. Skill? Yes. But I was just being that ego whose whole world is a circle. Ooh, and I'll be reciting a um, monologue from Edmund Rostin's Serial of the Virgin Rock. Rustin. I don't look like a nervous. It's either a large cucumber or a little watermelon. <laughs> that for me, 50 is freedom. 50 to stand and tall and speak my own mind. For I am sexy. I am sassy. I am sweeter. <laughs> a little nasty. <laughs> <laughs> My next one, my most infamous white shadow, is my weeping spare. Thank you very much. That's all we need to see tonight. Thank you. You may cut me with your eyes, and you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, life. When you're backstage waiting to be called and then they call you out, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Now all the nerves are gone, but right when you get on stage and you see everybody just sitting there staring at you, then you're like, oh, okay, I'll just do the best that I can. And my hands always shake, so I have to do a lot of movements so you can't see them. I hope you don't mind my being here. The, the door was open, so I knocked first. But you are here, which you obviously know because you were somewhere else. So I waited because I have a very important message from Aunt Julia. If I can ask what you're doing, he charges the bell, head down! Oh! <laughs> it was the most beautiful thing the hunchback has ever heard.